going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in today. It's going to be a little different. We're not doing any mods today. But it's basically going to be my review of everything we've done to the car. Starting with the headers and X pipe. Now, overall I think this sounds amazing. It is pretty loud in the mornings when it's cold. Which, I mean if you're dealing it, just make sure your neighbors don't hate you because uh, it's pretty loud. But that went on super easy. The kit was well worth it for the price. It was like $680 altogether. And we ended up doing it ourselves at home, so we didn't have to pay any installation costs or anything like that. But overall, I haven't had any issues with it. It's been a really good kit, and I would highly recommend that if you're interested in the speed engineering uh, headers and X pipe. I have the one in 7 8 if you don't know. The next thing would be the new brakes. The six piston one LEs up front with a two piece rotor definitely hands down gives you way better brake power. Um, you don't really notice it with your daily driving like in, in your subdivisions and main streets. But you definitely notice it on the track and on the freeways um, because you're doing higher speeds and you, know, you really feel that bite point. Other than that, there's not a big difference. But they have been pretty well uh, since I've installed them. Next thing we're going to talk about would be the suspension. I have the DMR lowering springs. Lowered it, I think, about 0.75 in the front and an inch in the rear. And it definitely stiffens up the ride. You definitely feel all of the bumps in the road. So if you're dailing it, just be prepared to definitely feel the bumps in the road. It's definitely, it definitely makes a difference. But it also looks way more aggressive being lowered the way that it is. In my opinion, I think it looks really good. But they also feel really good on the track as well because you don't have all the bumps and it just feels stiffer. So moving on, the next thing would be the LT2 intake that we just installed. I haven't gotten the refresh on the tune because I have to burn off the C85. My tuner recommended that I bring it to them on 93. And since it's getting colder up here in Michigan, we don't really want to run E85 because the winter E85 is crap. And I don't want to come off the engine or anything like that. So I've been driving it. And I don't notice a big difference in power, but I do notice that uh, the exhaust kind of sounds a little different. Maybe that's just me. But it sounds a little deeper, definitely uh, the burbles sound a little more aggressive, which is nice in my opinion. And um, overall I think it looks cool, looks good, and if it really does gain about 10 horsepower, I'm happy with it. I, do, I don't really go to the drag strip, so I'm not really concerned with power, but driving on the track, at least my track is more about being agile and more focused on your turns because there's only like one big straightaway and so I'm not really concerned with the power but it is kind of cool to say you know it's not it's not stopped so um, yeah so we're gonna get some rips in I'm driving out to my buddy's house it's in Brooklyn it's kind of in the middle of nowhere there's a bunch of farmland and stuff around here so I'm able to get some poles on these wide open roads so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright we got another section of strip here. A little bit at least. going to be the last pull as I'm about to switch to 93 but I just went down quite a bit of ways so that I could burn off the last little bit again but looks like we got a clear shot here to get a pull in
caught back up to traffic too quickly. Unfortunately. We'll see. Maybe I'll be able to get a couple more in. But guys, that's basically going to be it for today's video. Obviously, it's the next day here. Made it back safely. Wasn't able to get any more pulls in after switching it over just because I don't you have to give it like that period of time where it kind of transitions from E85 to premium again and so I wasn't really trying to beat on it on the way home I just kind of had it on cruise control so didn't get any more pulls in but I had a blast doing it hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you made it this far please give it that thumbs up and subscribe because we just passed 200 and now we're off to 300 boys so please if you like today's content and any other videos content, please consider subscribing and come back for the videos because I do try and upload at least one to two videos a week. But for now guys, I'll see you in the next one.